Well, hi there. So here I am in my garden working with carrots today. So here in Manitoba, when we grow gardens, it is pretty amazing the things that grow and they grow so well without uh, any chemicals, even fertilizers. I, I don't. I mean, the soil is pretty rich, so I don't put put fertilizer in at all and neither do I use chemicals. So. I'm very, very grateful for uh, what we're able to grow here in Manitoba. So yeah, I've got a lot of big carrots in my garden this year. I usually don't like them this large, but they've got, gotten really big. But uh, since my uh, summer of not being very well and so on, I, I guess my, my iron levels in my blood went pretty low. And uh, so somebody had given me the advice to uh, juice some carrots. So I have quite a few ready. Well, they're not ready. I'm cutting off the ends today and uh, guess how I'm going to clean them. I throw them into my washer with some old towels and wash them just like I would wash clothes except I don't put soap in there. So it's uh, pretty amazing. Uh, how many carrots you could wa uh, wash in the washer in a very short time and I've done it for years and it's they get a little bit scratched and beat up but you know what if you're gonna juice them anyways and you don't have a brand new washer <laughs> then you might just want to do that it saves you a ton of time and work so that's uh, how I'm gonna do it again and hoping to uh, drink a lot of carrot juice this coming week and um, I know that my summer has been been a different one than I'm used to and I'm, I'm trying to get my strength back and I really want to still do some work on my yard. We have such a beautiful month of September this year. It's not like this nearly every year that we can sit out in shorts and t-shirts, whatever, and just uh, enjoy the warmth outside. So I'm so grateful for this uh, extended summer that we seem to be getting this year. But hey, I was going to ask you, what do you do when you go through disappointments? For me, my year has been very different from what I had hoped and planned for. I um, am the kind of person I, I make plans and yet I'm a very spontaneous person. And so if something unexpected comes up, even though I'm quite spontaneous, I do find it hard to come around to, oh, this has happened now, this has completely changed, and to remain grateful in spite of changes, especially if they're bigger changes. And you know what, that made me think about, um, about my jalapeno peppers that I grow in my garden. I usually just grow a couple of plants so that I will have enough peppers to um, use to make uh, salsa. I love making salsa. I usually have a lot of tomatoes and, and peppers in my own garden. And then to get uh, these uh, jalapenos in there, make some picante. And that's what I love. And so I am very disappointed this year. They do not have heat. So what am I going to do? Is it still a true jalapeno? How does that work? I have had this happen before that uh, I have a few plants and when I get to harvesting them and cutting them open and putting them in my salsa, they're not hot at all. So that's a disappointment, right? But it's just peppers, right? So it's not a big deal. But what if something bigger changes all of a sudden? And uh, it's disappointing, right? I realized that it was hard for me this year. It was a test for me to, to remain thankful. I really struggled with that. And I admit that I did not, <laughs> I did not come away every day with a grateful heart. It was, it was very hard. When you don't feel well and when you don't get to enjoy the short summer we have here, it's very disappointing to mostly spend it indoors. So um, I'm just wondering, how do you do that? I know that uh, when we go through disappointments and troubles uh, due to sin that we choose, that's a little different, right? Then we, 
it's kind of good that we feel the consequences of that and disappointment, right? Disappointment in ourselves and, and whatnot. But uh, our circumstances, when they change for us, do we just wallow around and moan and groan about the disappointments? Or do we in those choose to still be thankful? I always say that I believe that my God is somebody who actually engineers my circumstances. So when it comes to circumstances changing and disappointment in that, um, if I believe that God engineers my circumstances, then it's going to be easier to uh, become thankful in them, right? But if I just decide that I'm going to grumble about all of this, all of these changes, and keep on moaning about them, I don't think we gain anything by that. So I just want to encourage you, whatever it is that you're going through, any disappointments that you have faced this summer, um, think about that for a while. And I encourage you to choose, in spite of that, to be thankful. I know that having a thankful heart in itself brings strength to us, doesn't it? And I know that it is true that way in my life. And so uh, may God give you a thankful heart. May you choose to go with that. May you choose to be thankful in your circumstances, in your disappointments. He will look after you. He will carry you through and he will bless you. So start thanking him. And I'm gonna try and do the same. May the Lord bless you.